Hi everyone, hope that you had an amazing Christmas and that you're looking forward to the new year. This is a new year makeup look with a slight difference because it's a couture new year makeup look. Um, I've actually been so lucky to be able to work with Pat McGrath, who's one of the world's top makeup artists, who gave me feedback on my original kind of try of a look um, to show me how to elevate it or transform it into something more couture. So taking one of her looks as a starting point, I then attempted the look, don't laugh, here are my first pictures, but it was slightly crazy, and then Pat from the other side of the world had a look at my pictures and gave me loads and loads of feedback on how to make it better, basically. So today's video is how I've created the final look. I have made it a lot more smoky than it was, and there are some things that I've taken out, but I'll talk about those throughout the video. So let's go back to the start and see what I did. Right, I'm just buffing in the most minuscule amount of base, just so I can see where I stand with things because the eyes are going to be quite strong. And I'm also just buffing a little bit of the base over my eyelids as well. But I'm not really doing my skin because um, I'm going to do it afterwards because I've got a feeling that this is going to get quite messy. Um, as it always does when I try to do something more dramatic than my everyday look. Now, I've gone a little bit out of my comfort zone with this because I had the help of Pat and it's supposed to be a couture look and something a little bit elevated from the ordinary. Um, I am going a little bit stronger than I would normally go and I'm also using shades that I wouldn't normally go for. I'm using cooler shades than usual um, and these are the Excess Shimmer Cream Eyeshadows and I'm using these in Crystal and Onyx. So I want to create a really, quite a dramatic eye um, and I'm going to be using this as my base. I'm going to apply this all over my lids with my fingertips and you can see that is quite a mega a bit of sheen that's going on there. So just taking that all over the lid. Now you might notice that in the original plan that I had I was going in with quite a lot of eyeliner and I was going to do this kind of split eyeliner technique so that you had a big wing coming up underneath and then one on top and then there was this gap in between. However, even with Pat's wonderful guidance from over the other side of the world, I practiced it about a dozen times and I can't get it right. It just it looks a bit too cabaret for me. Um, it looks amazing in the picture where she did it, obviously, but you know, she's one of the best makeup artists in the world, so I'm not gonna beat myself up over that. And then I'm treating this onyx shadow just as I would a smoky kind of powder, and I'm putting it into the crease of the eye, or thereabouts, and then I'm taking a clean fluffy brush, and I'm buffing that in to the crease, so backwards and forwards, just as you would if you were creating a smoky eye and that's oh my cold is still terrible and that is pulling out towards the eyebrow as well and you can see that that shadow works so well as a smoky shadow i'm going to do a bit underneath as well and then cold pencil so I've really, really toned this down. I'm using the Max Factor Cold Pencil in black. Yes, 020. And I'm going to take this, squiggled all the way into the lashes, along the top. I mean, before I did this crazy thing with liquid liner and different coloured liners, and it just got too messy. So I've toned it down a bit. And then a slight flick upwards at the outer corner but nothing too dramatic and again pulling that horizontal rather than upwards as per Pat's instructions and then just intensifying the eyes slightly with a bit more of my onyx excess shimmer shadow I'm going to do my mascara first and then do my cleanup. I'm using the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform. 
which I have talked about before. It's got this little tiny brush, but it's really good for building instant volume. And now in with my foundation, I'm using Chanel's Perfection Lumiere Velvet. Because I want quite a luminous finish. But I don't want anything too glittery or shiny that will compete with the eyes, because I want the eyes to be the focus here. And then I'm going to follow Pat's tips, which I have here on my iPhone, on how to elevate this or transform this look into a couture look rather than just an everyday look. So her first tip is adding a bit of contour along the cheekbones and temples. I'm using the Max Factor um, Bronzer in Golden. Just using quite a small brush, whereas I'd normally use a really big brush just to almost get that stripe of shadow. and a slightly bigger brush just to do my temples and to buff it all out. Doing a stronger yet slightly feathered brow to intensify and further structure the graphic eye shape. So I've just got my pixie brow duo here and I'm just going to fill in a little bit where they're a little bit sparse and then use the gel Just to set those into a slightly stronger shape. Ooh, that actually makes quite a lot of difference, doesn't it? Kind of wish I had Pat on speed dial every month. Um, then she says, highlight the cheekbones and the cupid's bow and centre of the nose to impart a luminescent quality to the skin. So I'm using, actually let's use fingertips. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow I'm just taking the highlighter onto the top of the cheekbones, centre of the nose and Cupid's bow. And Pat also talks about concealer, um, just to add a little bit of light around the eyes and really intensify the eyes. And so I'm using one of these creamier kind of highlighter concealers. This is the Max Factor Master Touch one, which is meant for under eyes anyway, but it's particularly good. You don't want it to look too flat underneath the eyes. And then in my original look, I used a nude gloss on the lips. Pat says try a nude lipstick which will keep the focus on the eyes, which is a very good point. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's um, Very Victoria and this is one of the matte lipsticks. Only a little touch. And you'll notice that I haven't gone pale, pale nude. Just a kind of my lips but better shade. I'm tapping that in. And there we have it, my New Year couture makeup look as kind of semi-directed by um, Pat McGrath, or corrected, I should say. And uh, I've really enjoyed creating it. These, as I said, aren't shades that I would normally wear on my eyes, but um, it's been really nice experimenting. So hope that you've enjoyed this video and I shall see you next time.